Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. A while back the lovely Georgia Harris here on YouTube created her own tag, the makeup collection tag. And I've seen a lot of people, including some of my very good friends here on YouTube, do this tag. So I would like to follow suit because I was inspired by everyone's videos. I will of course make sure to link Georgia's original video in the description box below. I sincerely doubt that you don't know who Georgia is, but just in case you don't, please go follow her because she's awesome. She's one of my favorite people to follow here on YouTube. So you should at least make sure to go and check out her videos. I have the questions here in front of me and I'm just going to go through them as swiftly as possible without going off on too many tangents. It's doubtful that I'll succeed, but we'll try. Question number one, how long have you been collecting makeup? So let me start off by saying that even though this is a makeup collection video and technically what I have in terms of makeup is a collection, I don't like the verb collecting makeup because I feel like it has a somewhat negative connotation for me personally in the sense that to me it feels like if you're collecting makeup you are gathering it, you are putting it in your storage boxes not necessarily for the purpose of using it but for the purpose of collecting it. I don't know whether you understand exactly what I mean, but I have a little bit of an issue with the with the verb collecting makeup. So let's say that I have been acquiring makeup on a more frequent basis since 2013 because 2013 was the year of my wedding and that kind of inspired me to dig a little bit further into how one should do their makeup properly for a special occasion because I've been doing my makeup like and also colorful makeup since I was in high school. I used to wear green, blue and purple already back in high school so I've always had makeup, I've always been drawn to colors in makeup but my makeup collection before 2013 could fit easily into a box of like an average size. Um, I didn't have to put it in several big moving boxes like I did a couple of years ago when we moved to our new house. So but before 2013 I had a very um, average consumer collection and after 2013 my collection has been exploding exponentially and just it's been it's been a process. Question number two, what kind of collection do you have? Minimal, utilita utilitarian, aesthetic, historical, etc. Definitely not minimal. Okay, let's say that it's um, utilitarian. If you understand utilitarian as only owning practical things and no, no indulgent things, then it's definitely not utilitarian either. Maybe, okay, let's put it that way. My collection is a labor of love with historical elements to it and I feel like it's an aesthetic collection because I love looking at it. Honestly, I love looking at my makeup drawers, at everything that's displayed. It just gives me all the warm and fuzzy feelings when I look at my makeup. So it's definitely aesthetic personally to me. And I would say a little bit historical because, like I said, I've been collecting makeup since uh, 2013 and it only recently hit me that I own things that people who have started um, acquiring makeup a bit more recently, oops, sorry, that was my, that was my phone, uh, only a couple of years ago, don't even know about the existence of a lot of these products. I've shown this before, but does anyone remember this Urban Decay palette? This is a really, really old palette. I bought it in 2013 when it was already a pretty old palette, but I think at this point a lot of people wouldn't even remember this palette. It is full of a bunch of their best-selling eyeshadows. And something else that prompted me to think of my makeup collection as a historic makeup collection is a couple of days ago I commented on a video from um, Annette, from Annette's Makeup Corner. I'm going to link her channel for you in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. She does a ton of very colorful makeup and uh, she was asking for advice on sugar pill because she doesn't have anything from sugar pill and then I mentioned that I own some of their quads and then she was surprised to hear that they had quads. She thought that they always just had singles that you can kind of assemble into your own palette and I said no 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 they used to have pre-made palettes and I own a bunch of those and I didn't even realize that some people don't even know of the existence of like the Heartbreaker palette or the Burning Heart palette. So these are the old school sugar pill quads that were sold in, I don't know, 2014, 15, 16 and in that sense I would consider my collection to also be a little bit historic because I definitely have items in here 
also the electric palette from Urban Decay which are no longer sold but are like such classics from a couple of years ago. Question number three, are you com a completionist? Not in the least. I never feel the urge to buy the complete collection of something, I never feel the urge to buy the next palette from a certain brand or from a certain series. I would never in a million years buy makeup just to complete a set or a collection of something of the same kind. For instance, um, a lot of people collect Juvia's Place palettes. I would never buy Juvia's Place palettes that I do not intend to use just for the sake of having all the Juvia's Place palettes. I do not have that kind of mentality because I think it's it just doesn't fit my very practical mind. I like to buy things that I'm going to use and enjoy and things that I just buy for the sake of having, that is what I mean by the negative connotation of the word collecting makeup. Because if you buy something just to complete a series of a certain line of products and you are only doing it because otherwise you would feel like your collection is incomplete, that is the kind of completionist mentality that I do not fall for. Never have, never will. It's just not in my... It, it just does not work in my brain. Question number four. How do you store or organize your makeup collection? In the most boring, mundane, predictable way possible. I store my collection in uh, IKEA furniture and I have the infamous Alexa drawers for no other reason but because they are practical, they don't take up a lot of space and you can store a lot of makeup in them. That being said, I absolutely detest how you cannot open the drawers all the way towards the back. So there are a lot of products that you shove in the back that you never see and you can never reach because the fucking drawer just doesn't open. So that is the only thing I dislike about the Alex drawers. Other than that, I think they're super practical and I love them. And I don't care that everyone and their mom on YouTube has them. Like I said, I'm a practical human being. If it works, I love it. Question number five. What is your favorite thing about your collection? My favorite thing about my collection is the fact that I enjoy, love and use with a lot of joy all of it. I don't use everything on a regular basis. There are definitely items in my collection that I have a preference for. I'm not gonna lie, ever since I bought the Pat McGrath Mothership palettes, I've been gravitating towards them and I've been, you know, attracted to them like a moth to a flame and I've been sort of ignoring all of the other eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. But that being said, I still love all of the other eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And if I don't love something, I will give it away. But I think there is a question about decluttering coming later on. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. So my favorite thing about my collection is just going through it and like going through it in my mind in the evening before I fall asleep, thinking about the makeup that I'm going to do the following day and the clothes that I'm going to combine it with. So my favorite thing about my makeup collection is my makeup collection. <laughs> what is your least favorite thing about your makeup collection? Something you would like to improve about it. Okay, it is not necessarily something that I would like to improve about it, but or something that's like a least favorite, but something that bothers me a little bit in my collection recently is the fact that I have been neglecting my loose in the eyeshadows. For those of you guys who have been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I straight up only used loose in the eyeshadows from circa 2014 all the way up to I did, somewhere in the summer of 2017. That is all that I ever used. I loved collecting loose indie eyeshadows. I did promo work for a couple of uh, indie companies. That is all meant to say that I have a ton of them. But ever since I started um, expanding my horizon into more mainstream companies and especially eyeshadow palettes are from mainstream companies. I've kind of been neglecting my loose in the eyeshadows and I have this very strong feeling of guilt towards my indie loose eyeshadow makeup collection. I want to use it more but at the same time I'm so inspired by all the other pressed eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes that I own that I just have not touched my loose in the eyeshadows in such a long time. And that gives me this nagging feeling of guilt and that is my least favorite thing about my makeup collection. The fact that I have so many beautiful loose indie eyeshadows laying in my drawer that are currently being unused. And I don't know how to solve that problem. What is the biggest category of your collection? Oh, there's no doubt about it. The biggest category of my collection is definitely eyeshadow. Like I said, I have a ton of loose indie eyeshadow and I also have a ton of eyeshadow palettes and single pressed eyeshadows. Eyeshadow is my Achilles skill. It's the thing I love most about makeup and I definitely have the most of it. 
Question number eight. What is the smallest category of your collection? That would probably be a tie between concealer and eyebrow products because I have very, very, very few of both. Like the very base makeup products like foundations, concealers, powders, eyebrow products, I have very few of each of those. I use only one concealer. I've bought multiple in the past but nothing has ever worked for me so I literally only have one concealer that I use for my under eyes. I have um, one or two foundations that I use on a regular basis and I don't like to own a lot of foundations and same goes with powders. I'm actually currently trying to downscale those particular categories to only include the products that I use on the regular and not have like a ton of different things because I have noticed that in terms of foundation I don't really need 15 different types of foundation because my skin doesn't really change all that much. Maybe it differs a little bit in the summer versus the winter and I would like to have the option of like a full coverage versus a more sheer foundation but for the rest I don't really need 10 other foundations in my collection. So I think base products is where I have the least type of products from. Question number 9. Do you have a holy grail in your collection? Holy Grail. I'm not really sure I'm a huge fan of the word Holy Grail because it kind of implies that you never try different things and you never want to experiment with new things because you're so married to your Holy Grail. But I'm going to go back to foundations. I've tried a ton of foundations, I've tried a ton of concealers and very very few products seem to really work for me. I've mentioned it on several occasions that Estee Lauder Double Wear is my absolute favorite foundation. So if I had to pick a holy grail in my collection, I'd probably have to go for my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation because that is one of the few foundations that always, without fail, works for me. And my concealer from Skin Food, the Salmon Skin Concealer, is the only concealer I have been using since 2014 when I started using concealer to begin with because nothing else works for me. So. I would say this is a holy grail. I would like to have other, like, I would like to discover other foundations and other concealers that work for me. It just seems to be quite difficult to find products that work for you in those categories and I feel like if you find the ones that work for you, you are more willing to stick to those and experiment with things like blush, highlighter, bronzer, eyeshadow, other than those, like, very base type of makeup products. Okay, moving on. Question number 10. Do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller, or is it complete? I don't necessarily feel like my collection needs to be smaller. I definitely think it's going to get bigger because new makeup products are constantly being released and as a makeup lover and as a makeup collector, I like to buy all the new things. I like to try new formulas, new brands, new products, new inventions on the market. So I think my collection is going to grow bigger, even though I don't necessarily want it to grow bigger. It's definitely complete in the sense that if I stopped buying makeup right now, I would probably have everything that I ever need. I could easily do a variety of different types of makeup looks for the next decade and not feel like I'm missing something. But Curiosity killed the cat and I will probably never stop buying makeup unless I get bored with it. Question number 11. How often do you declutter makeup in your collection? I don't have dedicated days for doing declutters. I don't like do a declutter twice a year or on this particular day I'm going to sit through my uh, I'm going to sit on my uh, desk. I'm going to look through all of my makeup uh, items and I'm going to declutter. No. I declutter on a regular basis. For instance, if I um, have a product in my collection that I know I haven't been using for a really long time and then I meet a friend that I know would really enjoy this product, I immediately offer it to them and if they would like to have it, they can immediately take it with them. I would say I declutter on a regular basis just because I don't hold on to things that I don't use and I don't love because I think one of the saddest things is makeup that's sitting in your drawers unloved and unused. We're almost at the end, guys. Question number 12. Do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collections? Not really. I love my makeup collection because it is tailored to my personal taste, my personal passions and my personal interest in makeup. I absolutely love my own collection. I do not feel any jealousy towards anybody else. Sometimes when I see a product that I've been lusting after and someone owns it, I feel like, oh, maybe I should go and buy it. 
but sometimes that feeling goes away goes away very quickly and I don't ever go through with it. Other times if I keep thinking about the product I actually do go back and buy it. But I'm never really envious. For instance if big beauty YouTubers post makeup collection videos those types of videos most of the time give me anxiety other than joy to watch because they have so much shit so much makeup that they're never ever ever going to use that I feel like it's such a waste. So even in that respect I would say I'm not envious of anyone's collection, not from, or from smaller YouTubers who own similar amount of makeup as I do and not of bigger YouTubers who own much more makeup, neither am I jealous of people who own less makeup. I just love my own makeup collection and I wouldn't have it any other way. Question number 13, which is also the last but one question. Who on YouTube has the best makeup collection video? Um, I don't necessarily watch makeup collection videos, so I cannot really give an answer to this question. I just... I, I don't think makeup collection videos are something I specifically search for. If one of my favorite YouTubers posts one of these videos, I might watch it, but I don't think it's going to really stick in my mind because makeup collection videos are not something that impresses me much. So unfortunately I cannot give you an answer to this question. And the last um, question in this tag is, what's some advice you'd give to a future makeup collector? <laughs> First of all, I tell them you guys are totally fucked because the market now is so oversaturated with brands, types of makeup products, um, makeup products, it's just a freaking shit show. So if you're going to start collecting makeup now, it almost feels like it almost feels like where the fuck should I even start? So I would say that's the thing. When you start buying makeup, you don't really know what will suit you and what you will end up loving. So in the beginning you will end up buying a lot of products that you're eventually going to fall out of love with or feel like they don't work for you and one piece of advice I would give you is don't hold on to these products. You have bought them, you have tried them, they have not worked for you or you haven't loved them so don't feel guilty and don't feel like you should keep them in your collection just because you bought them. I think it's much better to find them a new home, give them to someone who's going to love them and enjoy them a lot more than you do. Yes, you spent your money on them but if they're laying in your drawers being unused isn't that sad? So that would be my advice to future makeup collectors. It takes time to find your style and uh, the type of makeup that works for you. But once you do, don't hold on to the things that don't work for you anymore. Just let go of them. Alright you guys, I think that was it for the makeup collection tag. I hope it didn't turn out too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comment section how do you feel about your own makeup collection. I'm not going to tag anyone in particular because I feel like everyone's already done this tag, but if you have a makeup channel and you would like to do this tag, please feel tagged. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more content from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!